All right, people, this video is about medicine, medication, prosthetics, etc. Um, first aid, wherever, freaking backyard medicine, herbal medicine, stuff like that. Um, this is going to be split into my educational video and my survival tip video. It's not that. It's actually, it's going to have a variety of it. Um, if you are a pharmacist, then you must go by what that doctor says when sometimes they don't fully know what kind of medicine, which is why they ask you, the pharmacist, the advice on which medicine they should use for that situation. Um, you should be able to tell them proper memory grounds based on that what documents they give you and what I said in the other one the standards the applicable standards in the unknown icon you should be able to work in that range where it's beneficial to that patient or to that individual to that group or to that animal patient patient got a patient your Filling the bottles up with the proper amount of medications, the number of medication, you know the limits, the legal limits of what that bottle is described by the people who created that medicine and they know the purpose of the medicine. There's experiment clinics throughout the world where they pay people to come in to take the medicine. Um, like I get text messages on my phone because of my tolerance to certain medicines, actually to all medicines, that they uh, want to see how well the medicine really worked. Like I had a company who messaged me saying six thousand dollars to test this medicine out at our clinic for ten days. No, I didn't do it, but you know, I don't care. You go through agreements and blah 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 more blah blah blah. No terms to do your research. Um, uh, Madison, that pharmacy should not only be able to apply that medicine to their work, it should be able to apply the medicine out of their work. You should not keep of a set focus on one thing, pharmacies. Do not make that medicine. They just have training and to know how the medicine uh being applied to that individual or to that group based on what the doctor described or the nurse describes and sending the order to them, they call it back and forth to talk. If you are a pharmacist and you are in a situation where you do not have that doctor to know the type of medicine because they have the training or they have the training and what's your advice on it and then or you don't have the company that make the medicine and know what that medicine applied for until you what that medicine applied for and how to apply for the situation based on the freaking if this outcome, this person having this eye twitch, stop taking the mask and change to something, eat them off the mask or ease them back on, give them water, tell them to drink more water, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm. You as a pharmacist do not know how to make your own first aid form of that medicine for a situation where somebody or your life is in danger or that animal life in danger, which is somebody, then... By me standard, by my standards, you're not that good of a pharmacist. You are good for your job, but then, but you are not good for that. I will come to you and ask for you for advice. I would ask you for advice once I get enough knowledge out of you. I really don't have that much to ask you about because you don't know more than that specific range what you didn't go by 
yeah you may know mm, you may have or more underlying standing but you don't have a basic understanding like a person who learned by trial and error or something like that the people who make Madison have to do a lot of tests they legally have to research blah 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 then test it on rats test it on next level animals and then the animals they call legally even though we both believe in our life hey people of the world funny test it on animals then test it on things that are closely related to humans Monkeys or apes and gorillas, whatever. For those who are religion, I don't care. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm over. Do you do not need to try to come in my face and say, no, we're not related to monkeys. Uh -huh. But you are tasting that same Madison that worked on. Okay, I mean, I don't get that. Anyway, once they get to that level, they need to move to the next test level of human subjects. I'm going to say what I know from based on what I believe and what I remember. I may not be 100% correct, gigs. When you, certain countries or somewhere, when you go in the military, you make sure you read that contract. Because somewhere on that Carolina contract says you will be one of the people in line to test new medications. Most of the times, certain situations in that area, once you test that medicine, they give that back, give the results. If it works, it works, blah, blah, blah. Then give it to everybody else. Make money out for it. Well, now, um, some situations, um, there are volunteer human test subjects. There are no volunteer test subjects, and then, uh-huh, uh I got you in this document test subjects. Basically, they say once you go to jail, I don't know for sure, people, though, because I mean, once you go to jail, you, at that moment, you lose human rights. In other words, you're just an animal. Guess what? You are that test subject. Madison. Um, I don't know for sure if they do this. I'm just going by what I heard them say. But that Madison has to go somewhere. Now, are you saying that I do? I see a problem with it? I don't. I honestly don't. You should have read that contract better than what you have read. Decide if you really want to do it. Um, you should not be going to jail if you truly did not commit to continue that to be a problem. But if you truly did that crime, guess what? You're just a guinea pig to me. Um, but I would not say the need of hiring it. If you are someone who killed 30 kids, raped 50 men, pregnant 30 women, in the US and you in a state that does not have the death penalty then I believe you should be put to use put to use that's right I said it. put to use um, guinea pig that's right but I'm not going to say all humans are too equal in that terms of when you do something stupid based on agreement of both of us or as a whole. And a true agreement, not that contradiction bullcrap. A true agreement, but since everything is contradiction, based on agreement that benefit both at that one time upon agreement. Um, you sh should be benefited to the people of the world. You should be tested on. You should be a uh, hand, handmade medicine, but you know, we ha everybody have to look nice. It's not that difficult for medicine wise. The same thing with prosthetics. 
I don't know why people are figuring out that prosthetics are hard to make. They're not that hard if you really apply to it. There was, a couple of years ago, there were some very advanced prosthetics based on y'all level that were pretty cheap. That were very cheap. Vents work very well at that time and era. And matter of fact, those prosthetics are better than this prosthetics. But I'm not gonna say what company is. You can look that up yourself. The problem with that prosthetic was that, according to them, it was that it would take people too long a time to learn how to use that prosthetics. You, I'm like. You missing the arms, you missing both of them, you missing a leg, and you concerned about the length of time it takes for you to learn how to use that prosthetics, and it's better than having a stick or a freaking broom out your arm, and you're complaining. People are complaining about the time the time it takes to learn how to use that prosthetics. And then somehow magically it get taken off the market because it would not have made a profit. Why are you even worried about getting a prosthetics? Make your own prosthetics. Stop complaining. Madison, um, if your doctor claims to be knowledgeable and it is knowledgeable and you believe they're knowledgeable about that stuff, and you said this is not going on based on their situation and circumstances. And do you 100% know that that situation is not going on? Take me for example. I've been to some doctors that say that this is what it is. And, and I'm saying, no, it's not because I can prove it. Uh, I can make a video recording of it. I got pictures of it. Um, then there are doctors who I uh, know are knowledgeable and believe it or not, take their advice to the heart and literally put an effort for it, 100%. Um, it's not different form of knowledge wise. If you cannot apply the medicine, doctor skills to your everyday use, if you have to have the pacificness of the way you would train or the pacificness of the way of somebody or the standard is trained and you can apply it out of that pacific range then you are not that good at it you should be able to know that centimeter thing oh, I'm not gonna get this too there's more advanced video about Madison and all this stuff um, Basically, if you have a splint leg and you are a doctor or EMT or first aid and you have been trained in split leg, if you do not know how to fix your own split leg, then you are funny. Um, this, this segment is not more advanced. I'm going to get to a more advanced segments of this. Uh, like I said again, I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. Am I qualified in first aid? Yes, I am. But I haven't been recently got my recertification in it, so kudos. Have I done training medic? Don't worry, you don't need to know. Maybe I am qualified, but I have no need to tell you that. Do not take this as your only option. Do your research, know yourself, and go to a professional that you believe to be a professional. No matter. Know your stuff. All right, I'm out. Medicine segment. Medicine doctor. Prosthetics. Have fun.